What up, what up, what up? Really, what's up? What it do? This is your boy, T-Magic. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we about to talk about that. <clears throat> what it do? This is your boy. You know what I'm saying? T-Magic. We about to talk about uh, this Brandy Rios versus Diego Chavez fight. Now, this, this fight really had a good chance of being one of those fights that you will look back on like a uh, Arturo Gotti versus Ward. Uh, I mean, it, it was one of those phone booth friend. <sighs> what up? You know what I'm saying? This is your boy. Hey, we about to break down that Brandon Rios versus... Diego Chavez fight. Now, from the opening bell, you know, uh, uh, Chavez said that he was pretty much going to stay on the outside and box, do a lot of boxing. Uh, but you can tell from the opening bell, he really did the opposite. And Brandon Rios, but Brandon Rios, I mean, this guy is a coming head fighter. He's going to take a lot to try to give a lot. You know, um, I mean, it, you just had a in tight ah, 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 ah. phone booth type fight. That's what you had. That is a uh, fan friendly fight. That's what a lot of people like to see. Uh, especially, I think a lot more non boxing fans because the nut they want to see action. They want to see plow plow plow. He takes some. He takes some. He takes some. He takes some. You know, and also a uh, uh, boxing fans. Every now and then. You know, you enjoy the Floyd Mayweather's, but then every now and then you like to see those guys that's just going to go in there and they're just going to slug it out. It's just going to go at it like two crack addicts. That's, that, you know, I like that. But I'm a huge Floyd Mayweather fan, so, you know, and I box myself, so I like to hit and not get hit more. But, hey, I can't say I, I don't enjoy watching, you know, Brandy Rios or, or, or code or a lot of these fighters that they would take a lot to give a lot of coming here. You know, I got the back hunch, neck down, arms up, blue, blue. You know, that Rocky type fighter, you know, those those type fighters that you have to see sometimes you can get emotionally involved in the fight. It's like watching the story. Well, I mean, this fight had the makings of being a Arthur Gotti versus a, a Mickey Ward fight. It had that. Two guys going at it, taking it and giving it. You know, but you had early on, you know, a lot of holding. The way that um, Chavez defended against Brandon Rios when Brandon Rios was get close was he took his arms and he locked them up, okay? Um, and you can tell off top that the referee wasn't going to have it. You can tell early on that he wanted to make a statement. He wanted to be almost in my eyes, just as important as the fighters in that fight, you know. So, so you, a lot of people going to look at this differently, you know. But I don't say, give, you can go ahead and uh, give me your thoughts on it. I like when people bounce thoughts off. Give me your thoughts on it. Um, by the way, this is your boy Trey Dub, a.k.a. T-Magic. Uh, subscribe, you know what I'm saying. Your boy can be back. I've been going for a minute, but, hey, your boy is back at it. Uh, we probably get it back cracking and get it back popping. None. Stop it. All right, uh, so let's get back to it. The one thing I like about Brandon Rios is, I mean, Chavez caught this guy with some head snapping shots. Boom. Knocking his head back. Brandon Rios would take three or four shots just to get in and throw his shots, you know. And I thought Chavez was junior, not Chavez Jr., but Diego Chavez was throwing some really good uppercuts. I mean, he was, he was catching Brandon Rios with some really good uppercuts and just some straight out rights. He was really popping them. I actually thought that he was actually winning the fight on the scorecards. Uh, he was just very dumb by continually holding. And not just holding, but if you go back and watch it, when he was holding, he was taking his thumb and he was going in Brandon Rios' eye. You know, So it's like, can I really feel good that the guy winning? But he's also fighting a little dirty. You know, uh, the ref gives him one warning, it takes a point away, you know, and then him and Brandon Rios get tangled up, and they go to the ground, him and Brandon Rios get tangled up, and it looks like they say Brandon Rios threw him down, so they take a point from Brandon Rios, 
Now we got a point taken here. Now we got a point taken there. We got points taken everywhere. So you can even hear the analysis saying that, hey, you know, this fight is not too late for it to be disqualified. Obviously, I don't want it to be. You know, I don't know if I prefer it to to take more points, especially in the main event fight, you know, or to just disqualify, you know. Give me your thoughts. Let me know what you think about that. Should he has taken points away or should he have just stopped the fight? What do you think? I got mixed feelings on it, you know. I got mixed feelings. I'm not sure if I wanted him to just stop the fight, end it that way, or should it continue, you know. But Chavez, I mean, he... He was being dirty, you know. He was being dirty. Uh, I thought he was fighting well enough to win, but he was being dirty, you know. So you got to look at that, you know, especially some people, you know, when I talked to people, they was going all the way back, you know, some of, well, I'm glad they did it because of what uh, uh, Madonna got away with Floyd Mayweather, you know. Yeah, I thought uh, Madonna did a lot, of, a lot of dirty shit, a lot. But this was a different fight, and I don't think dude was being not quite like, Madonna, but he was just doing some excessive holding and some thumbing your eye. No, here's here's thumbing your eye. No, my eye, your eye. So, I mean, let me. Uh, I mean, if you guys didn't know, you know, uh, just said he got disqualified. The ref stopped it for any real sport. But let me know what you think. Should he have stopped it? Should he have not? Who did you have winning on the scorecards? Before the stoppage, I had Chavez. I like Brandon Rios more. But I thought Chavez was doing a better job boxing, landing the significant punches, catching them, hitting them. But I did also thought Brandon Rios did good. He had his spots. He come in and land some good shots. Let me know what you think. Once again, this is your boy. Do not forget to subscribe. Okay, this is my first video back. You are the first one watching this video. You will be the first subscriber and make T-Magic history. Woo!